What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Mark, the chosen one. I'm back at a familiar place. They kicked me out, but I came back. I'm over here at Enticed Motorsports. And um, yeah, I'm over here for a reason. The 34 is here. It's time to get down with the motor shit. I wanna show you guys all the parts I have. There's a lot of parts that I don't have right now. Um, there's a lot of parts that I have here. Some of the parts are missing. I'm gonna go over what those additional parts are as well. But you guys are gonna get a really good grasp of what I'm doing to the engine bay, what the phase one build of this motor is going to be. Uh, basically a lot of bolt-on parts. Uh, and then what the phase two is gonna be eventually. I'm gonna talk about everything with John, but before I do, let's go over some of the parts that are here today. Yeah, let's talk about some of these parts. Check out these parts, guys. Again, with this build, I'm going all quality. With this engine bay, the theme is gonna be HKS and ARZ. I've been sourcing some of these parts for a while, and I'm gonna kinda of go over you know, what, what the hardest ones to find are, in my opinion. But yeah, the engine bay is gonna be mainly ARZ. So, before we get into this stuff, so you guys know I have a brand new ARC intercooler coming in. So, so that's, that's the ARC intercooler is coming in, the ARC radiator I have, and the parts that I have going in, obviously, super, super rare ARC titanium strut bar. Okay, really, really hard to find. Got this off a guy named S. Jaren. It was hanging on his wall as a trophy piece. I'm sure he was hoarding it. I kind of convinced him to sell it. And so thank you, I appreciate that. This is definitely going in the car, hella rare. ARC titanium panel. Not that rare, you could definitely get one. ARC box for the intake, Super, not that rare, they still sell them. Uh, we're gonna do something custom with this. I have a full on HKS turbo kit, bolt on turbo kit. My favorite turbo by far, better than T51R in my opinion, HKS GT34R. My favorite turbo, I had, this is the first turbo I had on the Supra. It's rated for 700 horsepower, but that Supra went all the way to 900 wheel or you know, you guys saw it on the Mustang Dyno at Sheepy. HKS manifold. I forgot the HKS GT2 wastegate at my house, but it comes with the wastegate. It comes with the downpipe, three and a half inch downpipe with a recirculation pipe, which this time and this build, I'm not gonna have open dumps. I wanna recirculating all the way up the exhaust. I wanna hear as much turbo surge as possible. And I want this car, you can, I want to hear more of the turbo more than the screaming, this specific car, personally speaking, okay? and. Yeah, so these are basically all the parts. A couple missing parts is, okay, what management am I gonna run? I have a full MoTeC M130. This car is gonna be on MoTeC, and obviously the GT2 wastegate is not here. Now it's time, let me bring John over here. Let me talk to John about everything, what we're gonna basically do, and all the parts that I have coming that aren't here yet, so we can kind of go over this. By the way, top secret hood dampers. Super rare, obviously some of this is fading off, but Still pretty sick. Speaking of hood, uh, hood props, shout outs, shout outs to Andrew with the 400R. He gifted me this, this is beautiful. Uh, I had these before he gifted it, but it's gonna be really hard to pass this up. This is such a sick ass piece. Dry carbon, we already went over this. Super, super sick. Andrew, if you're watching, shout outs to you, brother. Let's bring John over here. Let's kind of figure out what we're doing with the motor and go from there, guys. John, the purple one, when we did it, mm -hmm it was a little bit different because that car was sold. Right. And the budget on that car sold based on the new owner was X. Yeah. So we were limited on some of the things that I personally wanted to do for, for the car that I'm gonna keep forever. Good news is, this is the car I'm gonna keep forever. Right. The reason why I'm saying forever, guys, is because the only upgrade to this is a Z-Tune. I'm not gonna spend $2 million on a Z-Tune. I'm not gonna spend a million bucks on a CRS. So I'm gonna keep this. We already went over all these parts, but I kinda wanna go over with you kinda what I want and what the style is, what I'm going for this, for this build. Right. I'm basically going for a bolt-on OEM plus, plus kinda. This, 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 there's gonna be two phases to this build. The first phase is the bolt-on stuff, make it clean. The second phase is whenever I get my Supra, we pull the motor out, do pistons and rods and V-cam and all that other shit and just make it clean on this specific motor. So, but, uh, but for, for you guys uh, that are watching, this is gonna be phase one. So we already talked about these parts. What we didn't talk about is let's start on the intake side. Obviously what's gonna happen is when I get the new intercooler, we talked about you doing vibrant 
uh, flanges and Vanging clamps. Yeah, right. Uh, on this, and then uh, uh, intercooler piping to the new ARC intercooler. This I'm gonna refinish and match it to the turbo. Yeah. Okay, whatever finish I go with, maybe you and I can talk about the finish. Obviously, it's gonna. This is gonna be like the look of the engine bay. Yeah, this is more like raw aluminum, 5052. Just, I would say, I would say leave everything just raw because it's a lot easier to maintain. Well, no, no, I'm gonna leave this stuff raw, but oh, this, okay, okay. Well, I'm talking about how to match this finish Got to it. match with the piping so it matches with all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about that. Uh, over here, you can see this is nasty shit. I really want to keep ARC stuff, but you're saying this is probably not even ARC. It just has a cap I, on it. I think this is just a cap. I don't think this is actually ARC. I could be wrong, but... I could be wrong too, but either way, it looks super ugly. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all these hoses, all this other shit. We're getting rid of the coolant reservoir and the water fluid. Right. We're going to build a catch can reservoir combo right here yeah just to take up one one space one yeah corner. just take up one space that's going to clean just all this stuff up okay uh other than that on this side the the nismo manifold is going to get refinished the throttle body uh, itbs i have brand new itbs brand new uh that's not here today we're right. putting brand new itbs new fuel rail we're gonna exactly we're gonna pump. we have injector fuel pump hks uh, fuel rail i told them already i'm, I'm gonna be on motec m130 uh, and the only thing that I want to talk to you about is maybe making a custom oil filter relocation Because for these cars, it's a bitch. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so th they, they okay. sell kits. Gretty sells right. a kit for like 300 bucks. Actually, but it, Gretty's new kit's pretty nice. You know, I don't you normally use their product, but their new kit's pretty nice. The only problem is they want you to mount it here, and it's a fucking eyesore. It looks ugly with yeah. a giant oil filter I mean, you, sticking you out. You can mount it somewhere else, though, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll just play by ear. Let's see what we can Okay. Do. But just so you guys know, I plan on doing an oil filter relocation just because it's a bitch to get in here to change the oil. And I do plan on changing the oil and, and you know, keep keeping it fresh. Uh, moving down over here, I do plan on keeping the radiator. We're getting a new ARC cap depending on whatever pressure this one is or right. not. And we, more. Yeah, we can go over that. I got a new clutch fan uh, and a new clutch fan cover. Uh, for here, I have the brand new cover, the M Spec NER cover. I'm going to repaint these, and I have a new Nismo cap. The reason why I'm going to paint is because it has crack on here. And before I go V cam, we're, there, there's going to be press in fittings in the back there for the catch can, so there may be some work. This one kind of seems fucked up over there. Yeah. Um, moving over to the hot side, just the classic bolt on. You're not really happy with HKS's quality on the downpipe, right? But this is downpipe. The manifold's pretty good. The downpipe was. A little caca? Uh, yeah, it's just not, I mean, it's not great. You know? Okay. Well, I thought it was three inch. I'm happy it's three and a half. We'll see if it's shit, we'll change it. If it's okay, then, you know, no, maybe. It's gonna work. It's just, the weld wasn't what they did on the manifold. Sure. The manifold looks great. Their downpipe looks trash. Uh, anyway, so yeah, for, so over here, we're gonna go a, just the, the single turbo, uh, the kit. This ARC box, John, this is kind of what I was telling you over the phone. Modify it? It's, it's made for twin turbo, right? You see right. the two holes? We can so just go into one. I'm just thinking go into one. I don't know what's the best hole to go into, if you know what I'm saying, but mm -hmm. um, whatever hole makes the biggest fucking pew pew now, noise, mm -hmm. okay? I'm thinking, I don't know, you decide. I don't give a fuck. We'll just play with it, we'll see what it is. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be based on where the turbo sits anyways. Exactly. Maybe this top one might make the most sense so it's visible, so it looks kind of cool, whatever. And that's gonna go right here, mounted over here. Uh, I have new, I have new bolts, I have new cam angle sensor, I have new uh, brackets here. Okay. But the, this is a fucking eyesore, not only the bracket, but the power steering reservoir. Right. Um, you might make a new one or get a replacement for it. Or maybe, maybe mount it somewhere else, relocate it somewhere else. I would really like that because I want it all clean. Yeah. Other once, you, once you delete all this, it, it makes a lot more room. Yeah. Typically the twin turbo kit is with to now that's an eyesore back there, mm -hmm. but I don't think we can do anything. Well, over we can there. definitely clean it. We can definitely clean it up. Okay. We just gotta we gotta go one step at a time. Once you start trying too many things, things get lost. And sure. You get lost on a project and you don't finish one thing. Okay. Let's just do one thing at a time, and then as we address it, we'll see how much room we have and what needs to be clean and what can okay. be. Okay. But yeah, this car is gonna be on Motec. It's gonna be flex fuel E85, the whole nine. The phase one, just so you guys know, is going to be all bolt-ons. I plan on having about 500 wheel, simple. Phase two will be pistons, rods, uh, full, I mean, and I'll just do the V-cam step two um, where it comes like this. I'll do that on phase two. My goal with this build is to push 
650 wheel total with the 411 gears. That's my goal. The purple one was way too much power for those gears, in my opinion. Uh, and I was not catching any traction. It was just, it was just, it was fun, but it was, it was too much. So for this car, I'm gonna go 650 with 411s. That's perfect for me, in my opinion. But uh, is, I mean, is there anything you wanna know or? No, no, I know I'm kinda going kinda fast here, guys, but we're already used to this stuff and we yeah, talked yeah. about this stuff over the phone a lot. Um, I don't yeah, really. We're, we're pretty good. I mean, it's just, it's more like just taking shit out off out and then deciding on which direction you want to go and then you know how it goes you yeah think one thing right now and then later on you look at it one yeah. different direction the but good news is there's not much custom stuff in my opinion the good news and i want to keep that to a minimum yeah it's just going to be the intercooler piping i think and the uh catch can hinges, catch can yeah fuel lines obviously all, all that's aftermarket yeah so okay yeah. well i don't know i don't know what else to say guys i mean this is basically yeah guys i don't really know what else to say i really want to just let him get to it and just kind of move quickly with this stuff i mean the eta for this whole thing is probably going to be about two weeks maybe two and a half weeks or so so as you guys know it, this shop is super local to me it's kind of down the street so i'm going to come in and do some constant updates and check stuff out i'm still waiting for my arc intercooler to ship from japan so i'm really really hoping that shit happens in a couple weeks I'm looking to finish this, uh, uh, install this shit in a couple weeks and then tune it with, with, with the Motec M130. Uh, that's also coming in. So yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of the style of the engine bay, kind of what I'm going for. I'm going for that brushed kind of aluminum titanium style look uh, with all this ARC stuff. And yeah, let me know. Let me know if you guys agree with the style that I'm going for. Uh, let me know if you don't agree with it. But yeah, I think I'm on a pretty good track to get this car complete the way that I want to. And uh, speaking of getting things that I want, I would really, really want you guys to support the channel more and hit that subscribe button for your boy. I work really hard for these videos for you guys, so hopefully uh, you guys can just, you know, give me a little like, a thumbs up, a thank you, or whatever, comments. I really, really appreciate that, you guys. Uh, but yeah, I will definitely catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for tuning in, much love, peace.